but I mean, I guess I should uh, showcase a couple of them for you guys. I kind of want to do the Far East first. The Greek Isles is a good one to end because Lake Powell is just like, ugh, it's just a, it's an inspiration to me. Let's do Banshee's pretty cool. And he does a pretty good job of announcing what boat we're using. I can't, I can't even try to contend this announcer because he's just so good. He's just so good, and you know, I just, I'm gonna leave it to him because why should I do anything else? There we go. Okay, small lag. I thought the game like corrupted or something. This is another. Uh, great map, Far East. It takes you through Chinatown at the end. I really like it, so it is a fun one. As you can see, there's a secret right here because of the boost. And if you go through, you hit the wall because it's not a secret at all. I just kind of uh, messed myself up there, but that's okay. I kind of don't mind Banshee's controls. It's a little bit tricky on the handles. Very sharp, but uh, I'm not going to complain. You can get a double boost here on the ramp. So make sure that you boost. Make sure you can hit both of them. And then destroy the ship here. Boom! Since you're invincible, when you have boosts, you can really just kind of put the hurtin' on everything. And uh, I do like to put the hurtin' on just about everything in this game, so... <laughs> it's always fun to do. You can hit all these boosts. These beautiful, beautiful boosts. Look at that. You're going to be able to skip this part here. Boom! Just killed two samurai. I mean, what is not to love about this game? And here's a cop car. Look at that. Uh, there's an ambulance car, I believe, in another, in a harder map, I believe. I'm not sure. There's a really cool map uh, coming up later that I am way too excited about. I don't want to spoil it, but it's just... Some of the maps are really unique in this game. I wish they remade just this game without all the crappy 360 texture shit. Because it's just... I don't know, there's just something about the 360 version that just was not cool. And it was not the same as the N64 version and the arcade version, which is, my, in my opinion, the best. And I might be a traditionalist or one of those rose-tinted lens gamer people who are like, old games are the best, but I am not. I am completely impartial because I've played both versions, actually all three versions, and besides the arcade version being the best because it had a throttle, like an actual throttle that you use your hand to move. Uh, so jumping was like the coolest thing because you'd throttle it all the way back to reverse and then you'd hit the boost, which is the little button on the throttle. I'm trying to do it in my hand and play the game at the same time, which is not really working too well, but you know what? It doesn't matter. Another big bounce there. And we are now in Chinatown. Uh, I wish there was more China-themed music, but the Banshee is also an extremely loud boat with a terrible engine, so I apologize for that. I'm going to hit this boost instead of anything else. And the finish line is dead ahead, as you can see. I don't think I will come in third place because that guy... Wow, I'm going to win. Wow, get fucked. All right, two-minute race. That's not too bad. Excuse my drinking. Not too bad at all. I am not sure about... I was never that good on the China map, but that wasn't too bad, right? I mean, third place. As long as I'm above fifth place, I really won't. Uh, care too much. Uh, we beat the Far East. Oh, you need to finish in the top two, I think, in order to gray it out. So we'll come back to that. Let's play the Greek Isles because we have to go back to the Far East anyway. Greek Isles is a fun map, is exactly as you see it. I'm gonna go back to Damn the Torpedoes just to make sure that I. Oh, see, there you go. Fish medium and top two to race hard tracks. Okay, I did not notice that. So that was probably something I should have been uh, watching. <laughs> reading, but I guess you have to finish in top two. So that's what I'm gonna do, or at least try to do. I forgot about actually this mechanic and the hard maps. You need to, I don't know if you need to finish one or you need to finish top three. That much I'm not too sure about, but this is just Greek Isles is pretty cool. You kind of go through like ancient Rome, ancient Greece, like there's a lot of uh, arches, a lot of mythological imagery, and of course the police boat trying to pull us wankers over for trying to boat race in uh, the Greek Isles, but you know what, you can just leave me alone because you're just mean. <laughs> you're trying to give call outs and arrest me. I don't think so, brother. Here's a nice little alternate path here. Uh, cuts you down and gives you a nice little boost bonus, and those are always very nice. You can just hold on that shift key, which is what I have boost binded to, which is kind of weird for my pinky. 
but you can pick up a lot of extra time on this part. As you can see, I mean, I'm just running through my boost right now, and you're going to cut these guys off right around here area, and if you hit that boost, it is pretty good to go. There's also another boost you could, I remember, you can jump to get this one, which isn't bad, but you kind of want to hit this just to get the speed boost and to line yourself up for this boost, which is another freaking nine second boost. There's a huge amount of boosts on this map, I completely forgot, and you kind of go underground here, which is really cool. I wish I would have remembered that secret to the right there, or else I would have prepared to hit that boost, but that's okay. This is a really cool area as well. You got the sparkle effects for the gold that are just really funny. Just everything about this map is cool, and it actually ends in a pretty cool area, if I remember correctly. I just de destroyed that guy. There we go. It kind of leads you through this downhill kind of water gate area, which is really nice. I love the imagery on these maps. They're very, although the textures are kind of iffy, they're still super freaking cool. I'm kind of waiting to hit a boost here because I don't want to mess up. I don't want to reset everything, so here we go. And do I come in second place? I should come in second place. And I actually might even come in first. Oh, that was close. That was very close. You can see the guy on my radar there. Ah, uh, but I, I hit the wall first, so I guess it counts as a win for me. Darn it, that was really close. Uh, very good. Greek Isles. Not a bad deal. Let us go back and try Lake Powell. This is another title screen map. If you sit around in the title screen, you will find the big jump from Lake Powell. You will find the volcano jump from the easy map that Lost Island. And I can't remember a couple of the other ones, but it was definitely a good one. I think I'm going to go with the Banshee again. I mean, you can't go wrong with the Loud Engine, but you got to really know these boats to know how to use them responsibly. So I think I would know. I mean, this game is my life, but seriously it is. I'm going to make it my life. I'm going to I'm going to become an expert at this game for you guys. I remember I actually only had this game for the Nintendo for a week. I missed the biggest jump. That's the title jump by the way. You make that big jump and you hit the boost. That's okay. Um it kind of messes you up anyway if you hit the jump, so it's probably better that I just ignored it and miss, missed all the boosts on the map. That's okay, I'll grab this one here. As that guy tries to, tries to bugger me out of the way, which is not nice. There's a big cop presence on this map, so make sure the fuzz don't pull us over for speeding. <laughs> but as you can see, they are just super fast. Um, I really got nothing to say there besides I have to make sure that my turns are crisper than that or else I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. And the police are faster than us, but somehow they're going to go, hopefully they pull over the other, the people in front of me so I can get some extra, um, ooh, I just destroyed them. I'm so sorry, police officer. I'm so sorry. Crap. I just kind of messed myself up there, but that was kind of a cool mess up. I wish I got points for that because that was... <laughs> That's pretty cool. It's like a trick. Uh, there's a couple secrets in here, but I cannot remember where they are, so I will just kind of do them as I see them or remember them. There's some super big jumps here, too. So nothing to be ashamed of there. Definitely a secret here. Very nice. Oh, this is kind of cool. This is like a back way. I thought this was a different way um, than I was thinking, but I love all the gondolas that you can destroy if you were boosting, but I don't want to waste my boost right now. That is not a secret there, though. You have to be really careful about that. Those fake secrets that I so encounter all the time, apparently. I don't want to mess myself up, so... I have a little bit of boost to burn here. I'm going to see if I can get a little bit... Here's the helicopter. I love this part. You jump and you freaking destroy the helicopter. Almost, damn it. I'm not sure if you can actually hit that one. There's another helicopter, though. And there's a train, so I don't want to spoil any more than that. But it is a pretty cool deal. As you can see, like I said, the police presence on this map is insane -o. And here is the hallmark jump of the medium track. It is this mother trucker right here. You take out the train, and you make a huge jump in the water. Like, look at that jump. The camera was so far ahead of my boat, it was insane. 
that was not good. I did not finish where I wanted to finish, but that is okay. That was probably because I missed the boost in the beginning of Lake Powell. I'm pretty sure you need to finish under your two minutes to beat the track, but that's okay. I have a pretty good heading in all the medium maps so far. I'm thinking we're going to go back to the Far East, though. I don't want to really belabor Lake Powell. I, I want to, like, leave it just to let everyone kind of digest a little bit. Let my boat cool down. I'm going to go back to what I know best, and that is Miss Damn the Torpedo.